up? Good morning, everybody. Jackson and I are on uh, 80 West. We are officially in Alabama. Jax is uh, testing out his new digs here on the front seat. I think he's liking it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna head on and check out some rural, rural st why can't I say that word today? We're gonna go look at stuff today. And uh, I'm gonna be jamming to some Elvis Christmas tunes. That's right. I guarantee you won't find stuff like this off I-10, off, off any interstate. This is one of the bonuses of taking some back roads. Although it looks like it's not open, the Hillbilly Mall, it's, it's a real thing. There's some highway art for y'all. You know, rusty treasures and all. Let me actually go grab my Canon camera and zoom in a little bit, see if we can see some other stuff. Yeah, I definitely feel like it would be cool if this place was open and I can go in there. That's too bad, I don't know what their hours are. See Elvis up there in the window? Somebody put a lot of time and effort into this place. And the creepy factor is like a 9.0, that old carousel there. Okay, wow. Definitely worth the stop. Uh, oh, so the Star Wars shirt. Uh, I'm really excited about the Star Wars movie coming out on the 15th, I think. So I don't know where I'll be, but I am definitely going to see it very soon and before Christmas for sure. I'm excited about this new series. And uh, as for today, there's just not much out here. No cell phone service in this area. And I want to put on about 15 more miles and overnight at a casino west of here. Uh, so that's probably going to be my next stop, unless I see something weird like this. You're needing your new bed while we're driving. You're needing it. You're so funny, dude. Yeah, gotta, gotta break it in. Glad you're happy, guy, man. Wow, this is the strangest casino I have ever been to in my life. This is the Victory Land casino here um, and this is in Alabama and I pulled in and there was no cars anywhere I parked up front and the security guy came over in his vehicle and he brought me over here showed me where I had to park way away from everything and then he gave me a free ride up to the front to go check out the casino which is massive in there I'm not gonna film or anything in there but it's one of the largest strangest casinos it's empty there's nobody in there it's totally empty. They got a, a, a broken down uh, horse racetrack in the back where they do simulcast stuff now on the TV instead. And their buffet, the Oasis, the buffet thing is completely shut down. Not sure if they don't have any food at all. Very strange, you know, lots and lots of solar. I'm happy and then I'll be back on the road. May go back in there later and check it out, see if it gets busier. I don't know, strange. Otherwise, we will cut right back in in 16 hours right now and good morning guys here we are in officially montgomery alabama just outside the main city making one stop here there is a walmart two blocks away so i'm gonna drive the rv over there unload the scooter and then scoot around the state capital of alabama i think it'll be good but this is an interesting place here i do apologize for the highway noise nearby but you know like the the bricks that you use this is a masonry place well this might be the world's largest replica of a normal sized brick. I wanna say this thing stands uh, at least 40 feet tall. <laughs> and if that's not a way to get them people into your masonry business, I don't know what is, that's pretty funny. But blue skies, sunshine, 65 degrees. You guys know I'm feeling good. Thanks, Alabama. Fantastical. Let's go park and then we'll scoot. Real quick before I get parked, this is an RV tip I just want to share with you that works 100% of the time for me. Got gas here at this Murphy's, $1.09, sorry, $2.09 a gallon. And what I do is, and I walk into the store after getting my gas and I ask the clerk there, hey, do you mind if I get some water from your spigot out front? I have never, and I mean never had a clerk say no anywhere in the country at a gas station after pumping gas go in there with the receipt in your hand and it's, I mean, she's a clerk, she's not the manager. And she's like, yeah, I don't care. It happens all the time. So I'm gonna top off my tank here. And then that saves me from having to get 
like an RV park facilities and stuff. Still gotta find a dump station, but that's why I love my Sandy Dumps app. There we go, all parked. By the way, I did some research and there is a Flying J in Montgomery. So the $10 dump fee turns into a $5 dump fee with my Good Sam's membership. So that's awesome. This is pretty much the new me when I get to a big city. Cause any state capital or any big city, driving this around to see fun stuff is not economical. But hopping on the scooter, that's exactly exactly why I bought it in July and why I, why I travel around the country with the scooter so that I can go have fun. So I'll share it with you. Here we go. Well, here we are in downtown Montgomery and our first stop here is someone famous that is from this city and that is Hank Williams, the original country singer. And uh, there's a little museum here. Uh, they've got a lobby area that I can film in and share some pictures and stuff with you. The museum is $10. I can't bring any camera equipment in there to share that part of the museum with you, but the Cadillac that he died in is on display inside the museum. So if you're in the area, it's probably worth it, but I'll show you what I can show you first. There is lots of signed stuff in here. Yeah, lots of autographs. This is Kaliga donated here to the Hank Williams Museum here. And this is the uh, lobby area. Whoa, they got cassette tapes here guys heart <laughs> oh, there's a tear in my beard because I'm crying for you dear Hank Williams so as I said no photography or video allowed in the museum part they've got a lot of unique stuff that has not been seen by the public in there they've got the Cadillac death car that he passed away in, and some boot suits and some records and some signed uh, instruments and stuff back there. I wish I could take you back there, but if you guys come through Montgomery, you get to check it out for yourself. I'll catch you when I get back out, guys. So lots of stuff to see and do there in the museum. I really enjoyed it. Did not realize that he died at the age of 29. And of course, his son, Hank Williams Jr. went on. I don't think he had much of a choice when it came to what he was gonna do for a living. He had to sing, had to carry on the family tradition, so to speak, so that's pretty cool cool spot you guys gotta check it out now as we approach the riverfront here in Montgomery you can really tell this place is proud of Hank Williams another statue here 1923 to 1953 on New Year's Day 1953 I love 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 the Christmas theme around here actually one of these days when I'm able to make it work I would love to be in New York City for the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. I've always watched it on TV forever, but I think it would be really fun to eventually see it one day. I wouldn't really want to boondock when it's that cold uh, up in that area, but I don't know, maybe hop on a plane or something and go check it out. I don't know. Interesting. And then here at the Riverwalk, this body of water is uh, titled on Google Maps as the Gun River Chute. Although I will just mention, sometimes I get to these places for the first time and I tell you what it's called and then people are like, no, it's actually this river. How could you not know that? Or it's pronounced this way. How could you not know that? <laughs> just uh, could also be called something different out here, but they got a, a river boat out here. Kind of cool. Uh, before I forget though, parking down here is really cheap and reasonable. $1 for two hours of parking. Really good. Also, hopefully if my plan goes to script, Tomorrow I'm gonna to change things up drastically. And because I'm doing all this city urban stuff today, uh, tomorrow and the next day, I'm hoping to get out to a really remote spot. That's the cool part about life on the road is you can really change it up day to day, like really make things look incredibly different. That's funny. Uh, how many state capitol buildings have I visited in the last 12 months? Near a dozen? That's, that's kind of cool, kind of unique. And check it out, everybody. It's that time of year. They are literally erecting the Christmas tree here at the Capitol today. And we're up here at the top of the steps and there's something cool up here. It's the official star of President Jefferson Davis, inaugurated right here on this spot in 1861. So a little bit of history there. Cool, cool. I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving. Where should I go, guys? I don't know. No McDonald's, no Taco Bell, nothing near the Capitol. I could really go for a burger. Sorry. The museum? Okay, I'll bite. <laughs> Eat more beef. 
That's false advertising if there's not a hamburger inside. Let's go check it out. So here we are inside the museum. So it's a beef cattle museum. It's not like for dairy or anything, it's just beef here, I guess. Really hungry. Well, okay then. I don't know if I have a picture of it, but when I was in high school, I, my very first car, like my very first car that I ever drove was an 82 Toyota Tercel. It was a two-door car, and after having it for three months, I spray painted, rattle can painted the entire car white and then put black spots on it. I was literally, I have no idea why I thought that was so cool. I was literally driving around high school in a cow car. Yeah. The basic gist of this room is to say that uh, cattle are not native uh, to Alabama here. They were brought here for beef, just so you know. That's kind of cool. I think this is like a more of a, a kid's uh, learning environment type stuff here, just so they can understand better. It's a cool little part of the museum though. You can dress up as a cowboy dude or dudette in here. <laughs> mm. What? Thank you, Alabama. So I just got back and obviously the sun's in a different position, a little bit farther west. There's where I was parked right there, facing kind of this way with the solar. All I did was drive it with the panel still up to this spot. And now the sun's more lined up for the evening. <laughs> so now I have lots of power to play video games. Uh, like I said, my next video is going to be a lot different feel than this urban city stuff. But I really, really enjoyed Montgomery. And for the record, you know, I was probably a lot more let down about not being able to film inside the Hank Williams Museum than I let on. It's, a, it's one of those things that happens to me a lot. Uh, how do you shut me down on the road? Have big signs everywhere that says no cameras, no videography. Uh, uh, but, you know, that was a thing I wanted to do and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I spent well over an hour inside the museum there and it was very rewarding. I just physically can't share that experience with you. Um, and I, I respect their, their concerns about videography. I just feel like it'd be better for them if I were to give them a preview and then share it with my hundreds, 100,000 subscribers um, on the channel. I feel like that would only be good. You know, I'm not, I never show the entire of everything. I just show you the, my favorite little pieces here and there. And But hey, it is what it is, right? I mean, I can only do what I can do. So you guys uh, have a great night in Jackson. I'll see you in a couple days. You wanna see him? Here, yeah, so pitiful, you big floppers. Look at that belly. Oh, you're just famished. Look at this starving belly. Oh, what are we going to do? All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.